Hey, what's up guys? So whether you're driving over the road as a career or you're on a business trip or you're on a family vacation in an RV or an Avenger, whatever, I'm gonna break down my top 10 truck stops that you must see when driving across the country. Let's get right to it. Number 10, Traveler's Oasis, Eden, Idaho. I-84, exit 182. Now this place stood out to me because there are a lot of road closures in the winter in Idaho due to the weather. This place doesn't seem to get as packed because it's not a major chain truck stop. Uh, the parking lot is huge, which is super helpful when there's over a foot of snow on the ground out of nowhere. Um, also inside, inside is pretty special. Uh, they have a, a full blown restaurant, their own restaurant, Garden of Eden. Uh, they have three food choices apart from that and the, the gift shop. It's a pretty broad selection of things to look at here. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of a relief once you, once you break out of the, the major chains or the just plain Jane fuel and go truck stops or fuel stops for that matter. Number nine, Mittens TA in Oakley, Kansas. This is on I-70, exit 76. This place is coming fresh off a remodel. It was already nice to stop at, but now it is much nicer. Apart from the fresh, nice new store, there's an IHOP, and upstairs, the entire upstairs is a Western Kansas Wildlife Center. It's pretty unique. It's, act it's actually really nice. You, you can spend quite a bit of time here too. Number eight, White's Travel Center, Rapping, Virginia. This is I-81-64, exit 205. This place is huge. This place inside is, is more like a mall. It, it really has a mall feel. There's so many food options that there literally is a food court inside this truck stop. Um, the parking lot is massive. You will never have to worry about finding parking at this place. Doesn't matter what time of day it is. Number seven, Trails Travel Center, Albert Lee, Minnesota. This is on I-35, exit 11. If you like Vikings, you'll love this place. This building has dragon heads on the corners of it. There's a tavern inside. The unique gifts change throughout the year based on the seasons. It's This place is so cool and it is, it's a very welcome sight. When you're freezing to death outside in the winter in Minnesota, this is definitely a must see. I love this stop. Number six, Clearwater Travel Plaza, Clearwater, Minnesota. This is on I-94, exit 178. This is about the last truck stop you'll come to on I-94 that's more than just a fuel and go truck stop. This place is super nice inside, has an amazing restaurant. The breakfast options at this place outside of the restaurant, but still inside the store, the, the, don't, or the, the pastry selection in the morning is insane. Definitely give it a visit. Number five, Beckley Travel Plaza in Beckley, West Virginia. This is on I-77-64, exit 45. This place I had bypassed for a really long time before I ever stopped. And once I did, I was I was kind of shocked. Inside, there, there it's basically just a huge food court like almost any service plaza on a toll road. But they also have a shower facility that they just added. And this place is nice. These, these showers are huge and super clean and they're cheap guys it's like eight dollars i think last time i was there i believe it was eight dollars but the biggest part of this stop is if you look to the west go up the stairs you'll have to walk out of the parking lot go up the stairs you'll see tamarack you want to go inside tamarack that place is super cool it's an awesome building there's all kinds of stuff to look at inside and in the back side of it there's actually a cafeteria style restaurant and if you show your CDL, you get 50% off your meal. Definitely want to check this place out. Number four, Joplin 44 in Joplin, Missouri. This is on I-44 exit four. This is right at the border of Oklahoma and Missouri. Lots to see here, guys. There's This is, uh, this is one of the heavy hitters um, as far as truck accessory stores go. Uh, there's a lot to look at inside even if you're not if you even if you don't have a truck if you you know your, your kids like trucks or whatever you go inside they've, there's a truck on display uh, it's, it's it's pretty nice stop you can get custom made decals shirts hats uh, there's a there's a pretty broad selection in the in the in the gift side of everything too as well as you know the typical iron skillet 
restaurant. I've never seen this parking lot full. I've actually been here while there was a truck show happening and the parking lot still wasn't full. This is, this is guaranteed parking any time of day. Number three, Whiskey Pete's in Prem, Nevada. This is on I-15, exit one. This is right on the border of California if you're coming south out of Las Vegas. Uh, this place is cool. Uh, there's so much in this little bitty area. Uh, that's really all it is, is just a, like a hotel casino resort on both sides of the interstate. Whiskey Pete's is on the west side. What's cool about this place is, is actually once you go inside, there, there's tons to look at. Um, you could go into the lobby of the casino. There's, uh, they actually have the Bonnie and Clyde death car on display here, uh, as well as a few other accessories that go along with, with the Bonnie and Clyde story. This is a great stop to spend an extended amount of time in. You can go hang out at the casino. You can go across the road. There's a massive roller coaster. Uh, down the road, you know, about a mile just into California are the, the solar panel towers. Uh, yeah, you know the ones that kill birds? Yeah, those. Really neat stop. You can actually see those from the parking lot of Whiskey Pete. Number two, Busy Bee in Live Oak, Florida. I-10, exit 283. If any truck driver was wondering what the inside of a Bucky's looked like, since trucks are not permitted at Bucky's, this is the closest you will get to a Bucky's, and this place is crazy awesome. Tiny parking lot. If you can get parking in this place, consider yourself lucky. And one of the reasons the parking lot is so small, as far as the amount of trucks go, is because these spaces are the biggest parking spaces I have ever seen. This place is immaculately clean every aspect of it especially the restrooms they boast about the restrooms and they should these are the nicest public restrooms i have ever seen in this country period restaurant anywhere it does not matter these these are the nicest bathrooms you will see over the road i promise you that and the number one truck stop flying j laredo texas just kidding, guys. Of course, the number one truck stop is Iowa 80 in Walcott, Iowa. This is I-80, exit 284. If you have not seen this place, it's only a matter of time before you do if you're a truck driver. Even if you're not, you have got to go here. This is the world's largest truck stop. You cannot see enough in one trip. There's a dentist, there's a chiropractor, there's the showroom with two trucks on display. Enough stuff to take 45 minutes just to browse through. There's a restaurant, you can get custom shirts, decals, hats made. There's a truck museum outside, a truck wash, you can get your pets washed. This place has everything. And if you do happen to come here during a show, you will get an eyeful of plenty to see. This place is super unique. So that does it guys. So if I left out a place that you think is cool, leave it in the comments below. Let me think, There's a, there was plenty of honorable mentions I could have thrown in here and it was kind of hard to pick a top 10. So if you have one that you think should have made the top 10, drop it down in the comments and I'll be sure to check that out. Until next time guys, don't forget to subscribe.